The sound of rain hitting the window echoed the silence inside the house. Ricardo, sitting at the kitchen table, stared at the old, aged letter he held in his hands. His grandfather, who had died only a week before, had left that mysterious envelope, with clear instructions that it should only be opened after the funeral. Ricardo hesitated for a moment, remembering the enigmatic stories his grandfather always told on family nights. He was a man of secrets, always mysterious, and that made Ricardo uncomfortable. Finally, with a sigh, he opened the envelope. Inside, there was a piece of paper folded several times, stained by time. The words written in a familiar handwriting said, Ricardo, if you are reading this, it means that I am no longer here. But it is not the end. I want you to follow these instructions, no matter how strange they may seem. There is something that belongs to our family and has been hidden for decades. Find it, and the truth will be yours. Ricardo frowned, confused, but at the same time curious. Along with the letter was a hand-drawn map with symbols he couldn't decipher at first glance. The first clue to a journey he didn't even know was about to begin. Intrigued, Ricardo looked at the map carefully, but nothing seemed to make sense at first glance. The drawing was rudimentary, full of strange symbols and arrows pointing to unnamed places. He ran his fingers over the paper, trying to decipher what his grandfather had left for him. Decided to unravel the mystery, Ricardo went to the old wooden trunk in the basement, where his grandfather used to keep mementos and important family objects. Among old photographs and books worn by time, he found an old diary. On the cover was engraved the name Eduardo, his grandfather's name. Opening the diary, Ricardo began to leaf through the yellowed pages. The first texts were ordinary everyday records, but as he continued, he found a passage that caught his attention. Years ago, I hid something valuable that cannot fall into the wrong hands. Whoever finds it must be ready to deal with the consequences. The first clue is where it all began, where life and death first crossed paths in our family. Ricardo stopped to think. Where it all began. The words sounded enigmatic, but a place soon came to mind, the family cemetery, where generations of his ancestors were buried. He knew his journey would begin there, but he had no idea what was really coming. Ricardo couldn't get the phrase out of his head, where life and death first crossed paths. The words seemed heavy, loaded with meaning, but he knew what they meant. The family cemetery, where his grandfather and many others were buried, was the starting point. He didn't know what he would find there, but the feeling that something bigger was about to happen drove him to act. At dawn, Ricardo got ready. He put on a jacket, grabbed the keys to his motorcycle and headed towards the cemetery, which was on the outskirts of the city, far from the hustle and bustle of the city. The cold wind bit his face as he crossed the empty morning streets, his heart racing with every kilometer he traveled. The feeling of urgency mixed with the fear of the unknown. What exactly had his grandfather hidden? And why now? When he arrived at the cemetery, the heavy silence of the place enveloped him. The rusty iron gate creaked as it was opened, and Ricardo walked with firm steps through the rows of tombstones, feeling the presence of those who came before him. He had visited this place countless times, but now there was a different feeling in the air, something he could not define, but that made him uneasy. Ricardo stopped in front of his grandfather's grave, where a simple tombstone marked his eternal presence. For a few moments, he remained silent, remembering the stories his grandfather used to tell him when he was a child, always full of mystery and adventure, as if he wanted to prepare Ricardo for something greater. But now, it all seemed so real. He scanned the ground around him, searching for some sign, some clue. He knew there had to be something there, but what? Then he noticed something different. A stone next to the headstone looked slightly out of place, as if it had been moved recently. Crouching down, he began to dig around the stone with his hands, pushing aside the soft earth until his fingers touched something solid. It was a small wooden box, old and covered in dirt. Ricardo's heart raced as he pulled it out. Carefully wiping the surface, he noticed that there was an inscription on the top of the box, engraved in tiny, barely distinguishable letters, the truth is only revealed to those who have the courage to seek. With trembling hands, he opened the box. Inside was a small and seemingly insignificant object, an old iron key, rusted with age. Beside it, 
a folded piece of paper with yet another message from his grandfather. This is the first of many doors, Ricardo. For each door opened, a new truth will be revealed. The next clue lies in the place where you have always found peace, but never sought answers. Ricardo held the key tightly, reflecting on those words. He knew the place his grandfather was referring to. It was the farm lake, where he had spent countless summers fishing and swimming, a place of tranquility, and now, of mystery. Ricardo held the old key in one hand as he drove toward his family's old farm. The lake, mentioned in the last clue left by his grandfather, was a place of rest and happy memories. He had spent many summers there, with his grandfather teaching him how to fish, how to row, and how to simply enjoy the silence of the water. But now, the lake seemed to have a new importance, a weight he had never realized before. The road to the farm was long, surrounded by green hills and open fields that seemed to have no end. As he got closer, nostalgia mixed with anxiety. His mind was buzzing with questions, what was he really looking for? Why had his grandfather hidden so many secrets in something that seemed so simple? And, above all, what would happen when he finally found the truth? Arriving at the farm brought a wave of familiarity. The old mansion, now uninhabited, was still standing, even if worn down by time. Ricardo parked the motorcycle and walked slowly to the lake, which was a short distance from the house, surrounded by trees that seemed to guard that place with a sacred silence. When he reached the edge of the lake, he crouched down and observed the reflection of the trees in the crystal clear water. It was strange to think that this place, so peaceful and beautiful, could hide any kind of secret. But his grandfather's words echoed in his mind, the place where you always found peace, but never sought answers. He began to circle the shore, trying to find any sign of anything out of the ordinary. But the lake looked the same as always. Without any clear idea of where to look, Ricardo sat in the old canoe, which was still there, leaning against a tree, just as he remembered. With a quick push, he pushed the canoe into the water and began to paddle toward the center of the lake, where he used to fish with his grandfather. There, in the middle of the lake, the silence was profound. The sound of the water gently lapping against the canoe was the only thing that filled the air. He paddled slowly, feeling that he was at a crucial point in his journey, even if he still didn't know what to look for. That was when, looking down at the water, he noticed something shining at the bottom, something that shouldn't be there. Ricardo's heart raced. He leaned closer to the edge of the canoe, trying to get a better look. The glow seemed to come from a metallic object, large enough to stand out at the bottom of the lake. Without thinking twice, he plunged his hands into the cold water, reaching for whatever it was. His fingers touched something smooth and cold. Pulling hard, he emerged with a small, heavy, mud-covered chest. Inside was a simple lock, which seemed to fit perfectly with the key he had found in the cemetery. Ricardo looked at the key and the chest, knowing that he was about to discover the next step in this mysterious journey. Ricardo observed the chest recently removed from the depths of the lake, his hands still wet and trembling slightly. The object seemed out of place, ancient, covered in mud and rust, as if it had been there for much longer than he could have imagined. The sound of the water dripping from the chest was the only thing that broke the deep silence of the place. The old key, found in the cemetery, seemed to be made exactly for that lock, and now, with the chest in his hands, Ricardo was closer to understanding the secret that his grandfather had hidden. He paddled slowly back to shore, the weight of the trunk between his legs as his mind raced with questions. Upon reaching dry land, he pulled the canoe out of the water and walked to a nearby clearing. The sun was beginning to shine brighter, drying his wet clothes and bringing a somewhat ironic atmosphere, as the day grew brighter, the secrets he was about to uncover seemed increasingly obscure. With the trunk on the ground and the key in his hand, Ricardo hesitated for a moment. A part of him didn't want to open it. There was something unsettling about the object. It wasn't just the physical weight he felt, but an emotional weight, a sense that whatever was inside could change everything. Still, he knew he couldn't stop there. He had to keep going. He inserted the key into the lock and turned it slowly. A soft click echoed through the air, and the trunk's lid gave way. With a soft pop, he opened the trunk and found something unexpected, instead of a treasure or relic, 
there was only a collection of yellowed papers and a small black velvet pouch. The pages were neatly stacked, but there were few. Ricardo picked up the first one and began to read. Ricardo, if you've come this far, you already know that the path we're on is not an easy one. What you found in the lake is not the final answer, but an important piece of a larger puzzle. The contents of the pouch will guide you to the next step. But remember, with each discovery, you will be closer to a truth you might prefer never to have known. If you continue, do so with full awareness of the risks. His heart raced as he set the letter aside and opened the velvet pouch. Inside, he found an old compass, seemingly unremarkable. But as he looked closer, Ricardo noticed something strange, the needle didn't point north. In fact, it seemed to move on its own, slowly turning and changing direction as if guiding him somewhere. Confused, he placed the compass in his hand and watched as it finally stopped, pointing steadily north, but a north that seemed a little, off. He had heard of faulty compasses before, but this one clearly had a different purpose. Perhaps it was the object mentioned in the letter, the missing piece to understanding the next step. Ricardo sighed, feeling the weight of responsibility increase. He still didn't fully understand what was happening, but one thing was clear, his grandfather had created a trail that would lead him to a specific place, and now the compass was his only guide. With no more visible clues in the chest, he knew that the next step was just ahead, and from the strange movement of the compass, the destination didn't seem so far away. With the compass in hand and a renewed determination, Ricardo prepared himself for what was to come. Ricardo stared at the ancient compass, perplexed by its unusual behavior. The needle seemed to have a mind of its own, defying convention and pointing in a direction he could not quite identify. A sense of mystery and anticipation enveloped every part of his mind as he prepared himself for the next step of his journey. He knew he could not ignore what lay before him. With the compass in one hand and the empty trunk in the other, Ricardo stood, looking around the clearing. The lake now seemed more like a silent witness than a haven of peace. He began walking in the direction the compass indicated, his heart pounding in his chest. As he crossed the field surrounding the farm, Ricardo felt a mixture of excitement and fear. Each step seemed to take him deeper into a mystery he had only just begun to understand. The sound of birds and the gentle wind in the trees contrasted with the gravity of the task ahead. The compass guided him to a specific point in the forest that surrounded the farm. The dense vegetation seemed to swallow up the path, but Ricardo was determined to move forward. After a few minutes of walking, he spotted something that stood out among the trees, an old wooden cabin, covered in moss and apparently abandoned for years. The compass now pointed directly at the cabin. Ricardo approached cautiously, the sound of his footsteps muffled by the ground covered in dry leaves. When he reached the entrance, he hesitated for a moment, listening to the deep silence of the place. The cabin seemed to be falling apart, with loose boards and a feeling of abandonment that made the environment even more unsettling. Ricardo pushed the door, which creaked and opened with difficulty. The interior of the cabin was dusty and full of cobwebs, but there was a feeling that something important was hidden there. He entered, searching among the broken furniture and dusty objects. After searching the room, he found a wooden bookshelf that seemed a little different from the others. Among old books and forgotten objects, there was a secret compartment, partially hidden behind a shelf. Richard forced it open and found a small box, similar to the one he had found in the lake. The box was locked, but there was a simple lock that seemed to match the old key he still carried. With the key in hand, he opened the box and found inside a series of documents and a new letter. The letter was written in his grandfather's same handwriting and contained more instructions. Ricardo, you have come a long way. What you have found now is evidence of a story that my generation knew but never had the courage to reveal. Each document here is a piece of the puzzle that will reveal the truth about our family. The next step takes you to a place that has borne witness to a great secret. Go to the place where the mystery began, where our story was marked. There, you will find the key to the final enigma. Ricardo felt a chill run down his spine as he read those words. He thought of the stories his grandfather had told him and began to make connections. The place where the mystery began had to be a significant place in the family's history. Then he remembered his grandfather's old office, where many of the family's secrets were kept. 
the new clue was clear. Ricardo needed to go to the office to find the final answer. With a new determination, he prepared to move on to the next step, knowing that he was getting closer and closer to discovering what was truly hidden. Ricardo left the cabin, feeling the weight of the new discoveries on his shoulders. Sunlight filtered through the trees, casting dancing shadows across the path back to the farm. The compass, still in his hand, now seemed merely a symbol of the mystery he was unraveling, rather than a practical tool to guide him. Upon reaching the farmhouse, he entered and headed straight to his grandfather's study, a room that had been the center of family planning and document storage. It was a space that his grandfather used to record memories and important family papers, and where Ricardo had always felt there was more than met the eye. The room was exactly as he remembered it, a large dark wood desk, shelves filled with books, and a collection of antique objects that seemed to tell their own stories. Ricardo approached the desk, which was still cluttered with papers, and began to examine everything carefully. Among the papers, he found an old map of the region, almost identical to the one he had seen in the first clue, but with additional notes in the margins. The notes appeared to be written in a different handwriting, perhaps from another family member or even from the grandfather himself in his moments of reflection. Carefully, Ricardo unrolled the map and examined the notes. They seemed to indicate specific points along a route, with symbols and words that he did not fully understand. The map showed an area that spanned from the farm to the outskirts of town, with a dotted line leading to an unidentified location. Ricardo decided to look further into the bookshelf, which seemed to hold old volumes and historical documents. As he leafed through some dusty books, one particularly old book caught his eye. It was a thick volume with a worn leather cover, with no visible title, but with a sense of importance. Opening the book, Ricardo found a series of handwritten pages, filled with calculations, diagrams, and notes that seemed related to a search or discovery. There was also a set of notes about the family history, many of which mentioned events and places that he was unfamiliar with. The last page of the book contained a notation that stood out. When the riddle of the house is revealed, the true secret will become clear. Seek where knowledge meets the heart. Richard pondered these words. The combination of knowledge and heart led him to think of personal objects or places that had deep emotional meaning for his grandfather. He remembered an old memory box that his grandfather kept in a closet, full of personal mementos and documents. Driven by intuition, Ricardo went to the closet and began to rummage through it. Among the personal items and mementos, he found a small locked box. It certainly seemed like the next clue. With the old key still in his hand, he wondered if it could open this box as well. With a mixture of nervousness and hope, Ricardo inserted the key into the lock. As he turned, the click of the lock being unlocked sounded like a prelude to a new revelation. He carefully opened the box and inside it found more documents and an aged letter that seemed to be from a much earlier period. The letter was dated decades ago and began with a familiar greeting. To Eduardo, my dear friend and confidant. Ricardo read it carefully, discovering that the letter was a personal account of a long-held secret, shrouded in mystery and confidentiality. There were references to a specific location and an object, a family artifact, that seemed to play a crucial role in the final revelation. With this new information, Ricardo felt he was closer to unraveling the enigma his grandfather had left for him. A sense of urgency and a desire to solve the mystery guided his thoughts as he began to plan his next move, determined to find the family artifact and uncover the secret that had been hidden for so long. Ricardo spent the afternoon reviewing the documents found in the box, trying to connect the information in the letter with the notes and the map. The hours seemed to drag by, and the tension grew as he tried to figure out the next step in his search. With each new discovery, the feeling that he was getting closer to a hidden truth grew stronger. The old letter mentioned a family artifact that seemed to be an important item. The description was vague, but it seemed to indicate that the artifact was in a location related to family history, possibly a place associated with his grandfather's personal records. Ricardo decided that the next step would be to investigate his grandfather's old office in more depth. The office, a dark room filled with old objects, seemed to be hiding something. Richard returned to the bookshelf and the closet, searching for any items that might have special meaning or that might match the descriptions in the letter. 
It was then that he found a secret drawer at the bottom of the closet that he had not noticed until that moment. The drawer was locked, but Richard noticed that the key he had found earlier seemed to bear a resemblance to the lock. With a slight shiver of anticipation, he tried the key in the drawer. It fit perfectly, and the drawer slid open, revealing a hidden compartment. Inside the drawer was a rusty metal box, covered in dust. Richard carefully removed it and placed it on the table. The box looked old, but there was no clear indication of what it might contain. He used the key to open the box and, in doing so, found a number of intriguing objects, an old metal, a small wooden box with a lock, and a yellowed envelope. Richard took the envelope first and carefully opened it. Inside was a letter written in a firm, clear handwriting. The words were direct and revealing. Ricardo, if you have found this letter, then the path is opening up. The artifact you seek is more than just an object, it is the key to the truth we have sought for generations. The wooden box contains a crucial item. The metal is a symbol of our heritage and must be used in the next step. Follow the map and find the spot marked with the eagle symbol. There, the secret will be revealed. Ricardo looked at the metal in the wooden box, trying to understand how they fit into the quest. The metal was gold, embossed with an eagle emblem. The wooden box had a lock with a pattern that seemed to fit the description on the letter. With a new sense of purpose, Ricardo picked up the map and began to examine the area around the farm and the marked points. An eagle symbol was highlighted in a spot near the lake, but in a different area than where he had found the chest. He made notes and prepared for the next stage of the search. With his mind made up, Ricardo prepared to set out in search of the marked location. He knew he was getting closer to the truth, but he also felt that the journey was just beginning. Each clue led to new questions and a deeper meaning of what his grandfather had tried to convey. As the day drew to a close, the sun began to set, casting a golden light over the landscape. Ricardo set off towards the new destination indicated by the map, taking with him the metal and the wooden box. The path was clearer now, and he felt that he was closer to discovering what had truly been hidden for so long. The morning arrived cold and damp, with fog covering the hills surrounding the farm. Ricardo woke before sunrise, eager to follow the clues that would lead him to the next location revealed by the letter. With the gold medal and the wooden box carefully stored in his backpack, he prepared for the journey. The map had indicated an area of dense forest, a place that Ricardo had not explored much. It was a region that was a short distance from the farm, but it was marked with the symbol of the eagle. With the map in hand and his objective clear, he headed into the forest, feeling as though he was about to discover something important. The walk through the forest was silent and solemn. The ground was covered in a thick layer of fallen leaves, and the air was filled with the smell of wet earth. Ricardo advanced carefully, observing the details around him and trying to find any sign that matched the map and the description on the letter. After an hour of walking, he came to a clearing. In the center of the clearing was a large oak tree, its branches spreading wide, forming a sort of natural shelter. The trunk of the oak tree was covered in moss and seemed to have an imposing and ancient presence. Ricardo noticed something peculiar, a part of the trunk had a shape that resembled the symbol of an eagle. With his heart pounding, Ricardo approached the trunk and began to examine the area around the symbol. There were subtle marks that seemed to have been made by hand, as if someone had carved the symbol there long ago. He felt he was on the right track and began to look for more details. With a combination of strength and care, Ricardo managed to remove some of the roots and moss that covered the base of the oak tree. There, he found a small entrance, a sort of hidden hole at the base of the trunk. It was narrow, but it seemed to be enough space to store something. With the help of a flashlight, he examined the inside of the entrance. There was a small compartment that contained an object covered in dust and cobwebs. Ricardo reached in and pulled out the object, which turned out to be a small iron box. The object was rusty and looked very old, but it felt solid and durable. He took the box to the clearing and placed it on a large rock, being careful not to damage the contents. The box had a simple lock, and Ricardo wondered if the key he had found in the lake might be the answer. With the key in hand, he tried to open the box. The fit was perfect, and the box opened with a soft click. Inside he found a set of documents and an old black and white photo. 
The photo showed a group of people, some of whom Ricardo recognized as old family members. On the back of the photo was a handwritten note, the secret of our family lies in the key of the past. The documents were old records, relating to a significant event in the family's history. There was also an envelope with a new letter. Ricardo opened the envelope and read the message. Ricardo, you are getting closer to the truth. What you have found is the key to understanding the connection between our family and the enigma we seek to solve. The next clue lies in a place where history and tradition meet. Go to the old barn on the farm and look for where the old objects are kept. The answer will be there. Ricardo put the documents and the photo in his backpack and prepared for the next step. The old barn on the farm was a place he knew well, a space where his grandfather used to store old items and family heirlooms. With a new sense of purpose, he headed back to the farm, eager to discover what awaited him in the barn. The feeling that he was about to reveal a deep and ancient secret drove him, and he knew that each step brought him closer to the truth that his grandfather had kept for so long. Ricardo arrived at the barn on the farm in the late afternoon. The sun was beginning to set, casting a golden light that filtered through the broken windows of the barn. The old structure was covered in dust and cobwebs, and the smell of aged wood and hay mingled with the air. He pushed open the heavy door, which creaked open, revealing a dusty interior. The barn was filled with stacked boxes, antique furniture covered in white sheets, and a variety of objects that seemed to have been forgotten over the years. Ricardo knew that his grandfather kept many relics and antique items there, so he needed to be meticulous in his search. With a flashlight in hand, Ricardo began to search the place. He examined the boxes and objects, trying to find anything that stood out. Hours passed and the daylight was fading, but Ricardo's determination did not waver. He was determined to find the clue that his grandfather had mentioned in the letter. That was when he found an old wooden chest, half buried under a pile of sheets and boxes. The chest was covered in dust and looked as if it had not been touched in a long time. Ricardo bent down and removed the chest from the pile, examining it carefully. It was a simple chest, but there was something special about it, something that drew him in. The chest had a lock, and Richard remembered the iron box he had found earlier. Using the old key he had used earlier, he tried to open the lock. It fit perfectly, and the lid of the chest opened with a click. Inside was a collection of items carefully wrapped in silken fabric. Richard unfolded the fabric and found an old ledger, a jewelry box, and a small wooden box with an intricate lock. The ledger was covered in notes and writings that seemed to date back generations. The pages were filled with names and dates, as well as detailed descriptions of important family events. Richard opened the book and began to leaf through the pages. There was a section dedicated to a specific event that seemed to coincide with the eagle symbol mentioned earlier. The description spoke of an ancient family ritual and an artifact that had been passed down through generations, something that seemed to hold the key to the truth his grandfather had tried to uncover. Next to the book, the jewelry box was filled with necklaces, rings, and other precious items, all belonging to the family. But Richard knew that the real secret lay in the small wooden box with the intricate lock. The box felt different, more personal. He tried the key he had found in the lake, but it didn't seem to fit. Ricardo examined the box more carefully, looking for any sign or detail that could help him open the lock. It was then that he noticed a small inscription on the side of the box, almost invisible, that said, the truth is revealed with the right combination. With a faint glimmer of hope, Ricardo looked at the documents and the logbook for clues. After a while of searching, he found a small note inside the book, which seemed to be a code. The notes were confusing, but Ricardo began trying to decipher the combination. After a few minutes of trial and error, he managed to find the correct combination. The wooden box slowly opened, revealing a small rolled parchment and a small golden key. Ricardo unrolled the parchment and read the message written in elegant handwriting. Ricardo, if you have found this parchment, then you are close to unraveling the mystery of our family. The key you have found is to the secret vault in the mansion's old library. There, you will find the final piece of the puzzle. Go with courage and caution, for the truth may be harder to face than you imagine. Ricardo put the parchment and the golden key in his backpack. With a sense of anticipation and apprehension, 
he prepared to leave the barn and head towards the mansion's old library. He knew he was approaching the climax of his quest, but he also felt the weight of the revelations that were to come. With night falling over the farm and the mystery surrounding the library, Ricardo prepared for the next step of his journey, determined to find the truth that his grandfather had hidden for so long. The sun had barely risen when Ricardo arrived at the mansion. The old building, now covered in moss and with its windows broken, seemed even more sinister as the morning light illuminated its shadows. Ricardo knew that the library was a place his grandfather rarely visited, a space filled with old books and objects that seemed to have been left untouched for decades. He approached the front door, which creaked open, revealing the dark and dusty interior of the mansion. The air was heavy with the smell of aged wood and moldy paper. Ricardo turned on his flashlight and began to explore the house, following his instinct and the instructions left by his grandfather. The library was at the end of a long, narrow hallway. Ricardo remembered how, as a child, he used to play there among the shelves and explore the old books. Now, that same place seemed to hold the key to the ultimate secret. When he reached the library, he pushed the door open and entered. The place was in complete disarray, with piles of books scattered across the floor and shelves covered in layers of dust. At the back of the room, the large wooden table seemed to be the only piece of furniture that was still in order, although covered in a thin layer of dust. Ricardo examined the library carefully, observing every detail in search of the safe mentioned in the letter. After a few minutes of searching, he found a wooden panel on the floor that seemed out of place compared to the rest. It was a part of the library he had never noticed before, a small hidden area that seemed to hide something important. With effort, Ricardo lifted the panel and discovered a wooden staircase that descended to an underground compartment. Heart racing, he carefully descended the stairs, feeling the room grow colder as he approached the bottom. In the basement, Ricardo found a small room lit only by the light of the flashlight. The walls were lined with shelves that held old books and boxes, and in the center of the room was a metal safe, leaning against the wall. The safe had an imposing design and seemed to have been made to withstand the test of time. Ricardo approached the safe and examined the lock. It was a complex lock, unlike any he had encountered so far. The golden key, which he had found in the barn, seemed to be the missing piece to open the safe. With trembling hands, he inserted the key into the lock and turned it slowly. The safe opened with a metallic sound, revealing the interior. Ricardo looked inside and found a collection of documents, photos, and an object covered with a velvet cloth. He removed the cloth, revealing a jewelry box that seemed to be of inestimable value. Inside the box were a series of old, beautifully crafted pieces of jewelry, each one more impressive than the last. At the bottom of the safe was a final letter. Ricardo took the letter and unfolded it, reading his grandfather's words. Ricardo, if you have come this far, then you have proven yourself worthy of knowing the truth. What you have found is more than a treasure, it is our family's legacy. Each piece of jewelry represents an aspect of our history and our accomplishments. The photos and documents provide details about each family member and their contributions. The truth you seek is about who we are and what we leave for the future. Ricardo put the letter in his backpack and began to look through the documents and photos. The images depicted historical events in the family, people, and places that were important to the heritage he was discovering. Each piece of jewelry had a story associated with it, and Ricardo realized that his grandfather had left a legacy that connected past and present in a much deeper way than he could have imagined. With the safe opened and the secrets revealed, Ricardo felt a mix of accomplishment and melancholy. He had completed the journey, but the truths he had uncovered were deep and complex. Now he had to decide how to use the knowledge and assets he had found to honor his grandfather's memory and preserve the family legacy. Ricardo pored over the documents and photos, trying to comprehend the magnitude of the legacy his grandfather had left behind. Each piece of jewelry, each photograph, seemed to tell a story about the contributions of different family members over the years. Among the photos, he found an image of his own grandfather, young and smiling, standing next to a mysterious figure. The description on the back of the photo revealed that this person was a former mentor of his grandfather, an individual who had helped shape the family's success and influence. Ricardo realized that there was more to this connection, something his grandfather had carefully hidden. 
As he read more about the contributions of each family member, Ricardo began to understand the true purpose of the jewelry pieces. They were not just valuable, they were symbols of achievements and important moments that defined the family's history. One particular piece, an emerald ring, was associated with a pivotal event that had shaped the family's trajectory, something that seemed to resonate deeply with what his grandfather had left behind. Ricardo knew that the next step was to gather these pieces and stories, and share the family's legacy in a way that honored the efforts and sacrifices made by his predecessors. The task was now clear, he had to ensure that his family's memory and achievements would not be forgotten. As he emerged from the underground, with his backpack full of documents, photos, and jewelry, Ricardo felt a weight of responsibility, but also a sense of accomplishment. He had fulfilled his grandfather's wish and discovered a legacy that transcended mere material value. Back above ground, Ricardo made plans to organize an exhibition in the old mansion, where he could share his family's history and legacy with the community. He wanted future generations to know about the achievements and stories that had shaped his family's trajectory. As he prepared the exhibition, Ricardo reflected on everything he had experienced. The search for answers, the mysterious clues, and the secret hidden deep within the mansion had been a journey of self-discovery and connection with his past. He had learned not only about his family, but about himself and what it meant to preserve history and memory. Finally, the day of the exhibit's opening arrived. Friends, family, and community members gathered to view the relics and hear the stories Ricardo had gathered. The event was a success, and many were touched by the history and legacy that had been revealed. Ricardo watched as people marveled at the exhibits and photographs, feeling a deep sense of pride in having completed the mission his grandfather had entrusted to him. He knew that his family's legacy was safe and that future generations would have the chance to learn about and cherish the history that had been passed down from one generation to the next. As night fell and the lights of the exhibit began to dim, Ricardo sat on the porch of the mansion, looking up at the stars. He thought about his grandfather, the stories that had been revealed, and the future that lay ahead. The journey had come to an end, but his family's legacy would continue to inspire and guide those who followed. And so, with a sense of mission accomplished and a new chapter about to begin, Ricardo prepared himself for the next challenge, knowing that the truth and his family's history would always be with him, like a guiding light and a reminder of what really matters in life.